Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morton and today I thought I would quickly uh, talk about, show you uh, what uh, records I would, I'd be interested in uh, for Record Store Day Black Friday 2024. Now, of course, Record Store Day Black Friday 2024 is only, um, this is Tuesday, so it's only like three days away. Um, one of the reasons I haven't um, thought or done a video about this earlier, well, um, Record Store Day uh, in April this year and last year were really great, and I was in Denmark and I traveled down to Aalborg and I got a shitload too many records. Um, before that, my record store days have been uh, uh, mainly, uh, some of them have been here in Oslo and for some I have actually been in uh, Stockholm in Sweden and I've even, uh, did, I have even did a one record store day um, in Gothenburg some years ago. I think my very first record store day I stumbled into, um, I think it was Pet Sounds in Stockholm in 2016. And I was not aware of what Record Store Day was at the time. So um, I was a little bit baffled by the whole uh, experience there in Stockholm. Uh, I had had a record player uh, uh, for two years at the time, uh, which when I got my record a record player again, uh, was the first time I had a record functioning record player as a, for nineteen years actually. Um, so uh, the downside was that uh, last uh, November and November before there, I was in Oslo for Record Store Day. Now that's not to say anything wrong about that, but before. Uh, before 22, we had two uh, record stores here in Oslo who participated in uh, Record Store Day. Um, of course, Big Dipper, uh, which is an awesome uh, shop and I, I love it to bits. But we also had um, a place called The Garden. Um, they seem to get through, uh, you know, the whole COVID thing and everything, but... Uh, immediately after COVID, uh, and, and you know, we started moving out, they closed their shop. And I think um, basically um, because they suffered, uh, th you know, th through, uh, through, you know, uh, a loss in revenue and everything, and uh, their landlord uh, putting up the price, um, they they gave up Oslo. They, I think they still have their store in down in uh, in Tunsberg. If I remember correctly, I, I haven't kept up with them since they closed in Oslo, and uh, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it a competition as such between uh, those two stores, but uh, I would often go to Big Dipper first and see what they had, and then I would go to uh, the uh, the Garden, and there would be some differences in what they got, and. Um, one fatality that I feel about uh, Record Store Day here in, in Norway, uh, or specifically here in Oslo, is that we don't, we we seem to get quite a lot of good um, releases for Record Store Day here. Uh, for Big Dipper does a great uh, job getting uh, getting those things, uh, those records. But uh, I tend to open up the Record Store day.co.uk, uh, the UK uh, um, site, and they often have titles that they don't, uh, isn't this, aren't the same that is being released over in the States, and we don't seem to get the UK releases a lot over here. Uh, in Oldborg, in Dan in, down in Denmark, I did get a couple, but there were others that um, they, they didn't seem to know, oh, oh was that released? And... Um, uh, some of those I managed to get through the um, the UK rough uh, rough trade page, but you don't you know you can't pre-order uh, record store day uh, stuff, so you have to you know if there was something that you really wanted, uh, you, of course you you hoped it'll show up in the shop, and then you have to go online later on in the day and see if there's anything left. And in some stages, some instances there were, but uh, so so Record Store Day um, 
specific uh, Black Friday last year here in Oslo, I went I went home with one title. I did add a couple later, but that was through through the internet. And not that that there were an enormous amount of titles that I wanted last Black Friday, but uh, um, the ones that there were a couple that flew out of people who stood in line before me. So the only thing I got um, a year ago was this one, the doors, and. I remember that I also that I chose this over another title that I wanted more, which I I don't think I ever got, and um, I kind of regretted it because um, uh, as much as I love 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 the Doors, this was pretty expensive, and it sounds like yeah, not not good. So um, what do we what do we have uh, this year that I would like? Um, so I, I just put up um, some uh, photos here of uh, stuff that I want, and I'll try to uh, transfer that over there, uh, so to speak. Um, <clears throat> so there's the birds buffalo slash buffalo Springfield uh, live at the Monterey International Pop Festival. Th that looks uh, interesting. Um, I mean, I love the birds, uh, Buffalo Springfield uh, as well, obviously. Um, but again, it's a question of um, price. And the next one uh, that I would really like, of course, again, I hope it sounds good and better than that one, uh, would be The Doors Live in Detroit. But it's a four LP set. And from what I been I've been see, watch looking at it at other websites in other other countries and translating that to Norwegian money even even if that's a direct translation we're talking um, over a thousand Norwegian kroner for uh, for one live album in in a, in a sense next up I have one Bill Evans uh, album, uh, and Record Store Day tends to be when I pick up one or two jazz albums because I, I don't I don't listen to a lot of jazz, but I have some records of you know the the stuff that kind of everybody have, and uh, and and uh, it's good relax relaxing music for me, and it's music that I when i when i uh which 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 i do quite a bit late uh, at the time need to relax and need to uh, have something nice around me um i do listen to some jazz albums and so bill evans in norway uh that w would be really cool but uh that is uh like i said i know next to nothing of what big dipper is gonna do for this year's uh, record store black friday maybe i'm looking in the wrong places maybe they put it up somewhere i went into their website to see what they had if they had put up some of those uh record store day uh, records on and they because they have a permanent page with old stuff that they still have and this was the only one that showed up and it was around 700 norwegian kroner uh and so, but uh, yeah live at uh, kongsberg 1970 if all else fails and I feel I have to spend some money on something, it, it, it wouldn't be the worst thing to spend money on as far as uh, Record Store Day music goes. Uh, Pearl Jam. Now, of course, I love Pearl Jam to bits and um, they, uh, they're they very dear to me. Uh, I bought a couple of versions of their last album, uh, two on vinyl. Um, I even got the record store a day uh, one in April with a different uh, colored vinyl and and a CD. I always get a CD as well. But uh, this uh, song of the year thing, this is a couple of live tracks. Um, if I remember correctly, these are a couple of songs from their latest album played live. Um, someone said this will probably there will probably be a live album of sorts. They usually are. Um, uh, after this, uh, they're finished touring this album. Uh, maybe one for the stores, and maybe you, you can pick up some of the bootlegs from a city not too far from where you live, uh, because uh, they don't seem to come to Scandinavia at all on um, this round. And 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 you will, those songs will be part of a part of that. And a seven inch um, at that price, no, I I don't I don't I mean. I usually grab as much Pearl Jam as I want, but this just doesn't doesn't do it for me. But 
Again, maybe maybe there's no Bill Evans left either, and that's the only thing I can grab. But again, yeah, it, it doesn't excite me, and that's a bit sad to say about a, something from Pearl Jam. Next up, uh, usually there's something from the Rolling Stones. I haven't picked up a lot of uh, Record Store Day stuff from the Rolling Stones because it tends to be, uh, especially the, the pre-1970 stuff on some colored vinyl which I already have, and I bought uh, the wonderful mono box, a mono box set, uh, um, and all, all that, so um, uh, get your Yaya's out. I have a deluxe uh, CD box from years ago, I have my old 19-something uh, 70s uh, vinyl, and I got the one in the box set, I, d I don't need this as well. Sixpence None the Richer uh, are uh, releasing uh, The Dawn of Grace and uh, it's it's a lovely band that I uh, have a couple of CDs from from back in the day. Um, again, depending on the price, but uh, the cover looks really beautiful. So maybe if, if, if they even have it, maybe that will be something. I don't know, but uh, I had a little bit of a Sixpence None the Richer kick about five or six weeks ago where I watched what I could come across of old documentaries about them and stuff on uh, online. Uh, might, might have been someone from the wine community who made something. Uh, now, I don't remember now, but it was a fun memory. So maybe that'll make me grab this one. Now, uh, quite a few years ago, uh, we had a really cool, well, we had actually a couple of really cool uh, jazz uh, record stores here in Oslo. They're both gone now, unfortunately. And um, I don't know why I wandered in there. Yes, now I remember there was a, there was a, um, there were cover, CD covers hanging in a window. And one of them was from, was her name Bebe? Bebe Gilberto, Astrid Gilberto's uh, daughter. Uh, which was a sort of, you know, in Astrid Gilberto's uh, vein of music, but uh, more electronic. So I picked that up and uh, the guy says to me, if you like that, you should listen to this. So he showed me versions by Thievery Corporation. And um, I bought that one too. And in the end, that's the one I listened to way more than the other one. And... Uh, uh, I, I picked up some other CDs from them over the years. Um, I think maybe I have something on vinyl. Um, and, uh, you know, they're a very uh, soothing, cool uh, electronic project. Two guys from Washington, D.C., if I remember correctly. And um, this is my favorite. And this is the last one I bought so far. Really kind of weird uh, CD box. This is a cardboard with a... Like a, it's like a folded, uh, huge poster thing where the CD is stuck somewhere inside here. And um, so um, for Record Store Day, uh, they are releasing, um, um, they are releasing uh, the one called The Rich, which I just showed you, The Richest Man in Babylon. And um, I, I would really like that on, on vinyl. Again, uh, not a, was it? I don't think there was a heck of a, cop, a lot of copies. This look, it is a US one, so that ups the chances for them having it a bit. But double uh, record set again, so the price might scare me off. But uh, that is close to. This is probably the third most interesting record to me for this uh, record store day Black Friday. And we got U2. Uh, U2 are uh, releasing the uh, sort of the leftover songs, uh, unreleased songs from How to Dismantle, uh, dismantle uh, an Atomic Bomb. Uh, so how to reassemble an atomic bomb. This comes in the box set that I think was released last week, which was for me as it is now prohibitively expensive. But if this one uh, comes uh, along and I see it and I can grab it, that's a very possible purchase for me if 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 it's not too expensive you two stuff have a tendency of costing a pretty penny on record store day if, if memory serves me right uh but uh, that's really one that uh, that I'd be uh, I'd love to get my hands on 
Um, the second most interesting record for me, uh, which is going to be expensive, but if all else fails or if you know insanity grabs me, um, Record Store Day a couple of years ago, War released this vinyl, uh, the vinyl from 1971 to 75. Um, great box set, uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, five studio albums, uh, all with colored uh, vinyl. And there's even a gatefold among them. Here you go. And they are uh, releasing uh, War, the vinyl, 1977 to 1994. So a follow-up to this. Um, this one I would really like to grab. And um, unless it's insanely expensive and I and I see the one that I want the most. Oh, yeah, I might have to let this one go. I have listened to this box set quite a, uh, quite a bit. I should listen to it more, but you know, um, I got a lot of records, so yeah. So the record that I want the most is, well, uh, many years ago, um, I was in Australia because I uh, went to see a woman who, I was in love with, and I had hoped that uh, that would pan out. It didn't. Um, I was staying at her uh, place after she, uh, you know, told me, "Yeah, we, you can stay here, but uh, uh, I don't love you." Hmm. So I went to the movies a lot in Sydney, and uh, I saw uh, one movie in particular. I think I saw it five times, um, um, not not in a row. There were a couple of other movies in between. Um, the first X-Men movie, I think, actually. Uh, and uh, it was, of course, High Fidelity. And this is my CD of High Fidelity. John Cusack is one of my big heroes. I just love, love this. Uh, this is my... Uh, this is my favorite John Cusack film. Uh, or maybe... Gross Point Blank, this one. They're, they're, they're the best movies around, and I love them. And uh, uh, it, it is being re-released on vinyl. Uh, and uh, that's great. I don't know in what kind of numbers because this is from the UK Record Store Day uh, website, and uh, and again, I I don't dare hope that it will show up here in Oslo because, like I said, I feel uh, that the that UK Record Store Day stuff doesn't come here. Um, Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I maybe uh, they're concentrating on the U.S. page and they don't see it, or the the U.K. doesn't allow that much of the its stuff to go to other countries. Uh, I don't know, but um, yeah. Uh, and if all else fails, maybe I'll just uh, follow uh, uh, Norman Maslow's uh, suggestion and get uh, Emily uh, Remler cooking at the queens i listened to that after he talked about it and it sounded absolutely wonderful but uh, there is also i think um one or two norwegian releases for this record store day um i think uh one of them is a heavy metal uh, i think it's enslaved and uh, norwegian artists uh sondre lerkes debut album i think I think I saw somewhere but uh, yeah so that's uh, what I would at least um, potentially like for this record store day uh, Black Friday uh, what do you think um, is uh, do you like any of these records uh, do you think my reasoning is, seems sound or do you think I'm gonna screw up and come home with too many records uh, like I said I got one shop I, I'm in Oslo I don't know how it's going to go, but uh, um, maybe there would be a, a video showing what I got for Record Store Day, Black Friday this year, because, uh, uh, well, you know, last year's was one record. Anyway, guys, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, please click like, that helps my channel. Please subscribe, that makes me happy, and I hope to see you soon in another video.